Ben Hansen is investigating reports of a hidden human alien research laboratory conducting genetic research near Dulce, New Mexico. In 1980, a woman named Myrna Hansen claimed she and her son were abducted by greys and taken to the base. Her and her six-year-old son were driving home, and they observed some flying saucers in the sky. The next thing she remembers after that was her and her son were in their car. And it had no gas. It wasn't running. On May 5th, 1980, sitting just outside the town of Dulce, she realized she'd lost a full six hours. Does she recall anything of, of what happened in the missing time? At the time, she didn't, but she had gone back to do some regression hypnotism. During the time that she did that, she found out what had happened. They were taken to a, an underground base. Really? Yes. Myrna saw what appeared to be a complex lab. She was subjected to painful experiments and feared she wouldn't leave alive. Apparently, after they were through with the examinations and procedures, they took Myrna and her son into another room. She described seeing uh, big vats of liquid with uh, body parts in it, and she was not sure if they were human or animal. Myrna Hansen also claimed she saw the aliens conduct bizarre and painful experiments on cattle. And then she and her son's memories were erased. They were subject to uh, flashes of bright lights. Apparently, the bright lights wiped their memory of the abduction. Wow. OK, seems like hypnosis helped. Yes. Do you think there's a real possibility that there is a, a, an extraterrestrial base underneath Dulce? I do. Avery agrees to introduce me to another witness, who claims she had an encounter with the Dulce aliens. On the way, he describes more rumors of the underground base. I've heard the people that live up on this side of the hill that at times it sounds like they can hear machinery. Really? But there's no machinery out. So they think and it's underground. Wow. Quite a few stories in, from this area, from the maybe, maybe right over there against the mountain, something that's inside there. Based on what Avery's told me, there are a lot of eyewitnesses in Dulce. We're on our way to meet Jerry Julian, a Hickoria elder who lives on the outskirts of town. Her husband, Larry. Uh-huh. They used to stay down here a lot, watch their cattle, so a lot of times they would just sit outside, and that's when they started seeing stuff. Hello. 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 I'm Ben. Oh, OK. <laughs> nice to meet you. Must uh -huh. be Jerry. Yes. <laughs> So um, Avery has been telling me here that you have had some incredible experiences out here at your, mm -hmm. your property. I guess mm -hmm. you keep cattle here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of hear what's been going on. Jerry claims to have had her first encounter with the Dulce aliens in 1986. A couple years ago, we were working up over there at Archuleta Mountain, that way. While well, we parked over there, me and my husband, he, uh, he brought me a, a little... Uh, Why don't you so, have a seat? Uh, those little cokes. OK. We just sat at the end gate. And then all of a sudden, from there, we saw, like, something coming down off of Arch Ladder Mountain, going towards the road, something white on top. There was like a doom like this. It was huge. An egg-shaped craft similar to what her fellow tribal member Dory saw was getting closer. My husband, 
He looked at it. And then he tells me, right away, he said, get in the truck. And then I said, I want to see it too. He said, no, get in the truck. So I put the end gate back up, and then I got in the truck. And then the truck will start. Really? As Jerry's husband struggles to get the truck started, the couple suddenly notices figures approaching. Two small people started climbing down. Finally, that's when we took off. Although Jerry didn't get a close look, she saw the figures go back to their egg-shaped UFO and fly back towards the mountain. Wow, wow. And it went back on top of Arch Ladder Mountain to where the, the hole is, that way. The hole, what's the hole? There's a hole on the other side of the Arch Ladder Mountain. You got a hole in it, or do you mean that it's actually they open? They made it. Whoever it is, they made it. Wow. But this is not the end of Jerry's story. That night, the beings came back, and this time, she saw them up close. At my house, at night, I woke up while it was dark in my room. There were two small people, they were trying to pull me off the bed, and I couldn't scream. So I was holding onto the mattress down here, and they were trying to pull me off. They're the star people. And then my husband like moved. And then they let me go. Wow. And then all day the next day, I couldn't get it off my mind. What if they come again tonight? What if they really take me? They're they're the star people. So is that what you believe? Is it their their extraterrestrial? Mm-hmm. Well, Jerry. Thank you so much for your time and, and agreeing to meet with us. And some of your experiences sound quite frightening, but it, it matches up with a lot of what other people are telling me. So I wanted to, to thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. Everybody in town has some sort of story that they've seen something here or they know somebody. UFO craft coming and going in the mountain. I believe Dory. I believe that he didn't hoax this photo. What it is uh, is still unidentified. It's, it's a true UFO. And does it support some of the other stories of people in town? Yeah, I, they've been witnessing strange objects like this for many, many years. I really had no idea there was so much activity reported in this part of New Mexico.